normally a one-man studio, but have currently undertaken a rather large task of designing a house for the IM and Furniture Fair in Cologne. And for that, uh, created a little team of marvellous talent. Two students from Denmark's Design School, Maria and Elinda, and a grown-up furniture designer, Silu. And they all go under the daily name of Alice at the studio. And they've worked full-time on this house for the last four months. I'm a workaholic. Uh, I try not to be, so, uh, but, I, but I am. I do very few projects at a time because I like to go and do really, really obsessively great detail. Uh, my work is not based on a fluidity but on a conflict, uh, a dilemma between being half English and half Danish, half minimalist and half absolutely mad about all of this. So on one side rational, on one side emotional. I think a product that fairly clearly describes this conflict that I'm talking about uh, and, and the outcome of it when it goes okay is a, a lamp called the Shutters Lamp designed for Louis Bolton lighting. Because on one side, I brought it into this house as well, on one side it's a uh, Extremely logical. It's a sheet of uh, pure aluminium that's been pressed into shape. It weighs very little and the perforation uh, gives very good light. So it has a high function. Uh, it, does, it does its job as a lamp pretty well. Something I never told anybody before about uh, working is with this house is how hard these ladies have been working on it uh, too. It's been good to have a, a, a really serious dialogue about every single stupid little feature there is when dealing with a house. Everybody has an opinion about a house because most of us live in one. But actually choosing this, this one thing, deciding to say this is the house I believe in, this is the house I really feel for, uh, requires a lot of dialogue and we, we've had it. And most of the time, all of us being Scandinavian, uh, we've agreed on very little. Uh, so we've had very heated discussions and it's good that we have this age difference as well. Sula is the mother of two children. These girls are both students and uh, live in flat shares. And uh, a lot of the collective spirit that's in this house, uh, which I, I, I think of as many generations living together, as space for an adult, these two back up from the youth perspective. They would be perfectly happy living in a communal way like this as well. So, so we are accommodating many different people's needs uh, from one story. Uh, the best, the reason I still have a career is uh, an older colleague of mine who told me at the evening of the very first exhibition I took part in, and I was completely high and thought, this is it. He said, enjoy this evening, Louise, but it's going to take 10 to 15 years before you really can make a living out of this if you keep on making design the way you feel it should be and not compromising. And that was by far the best advice. And I keep trying to tell these girls as well that do it for passion and love, don't do it for big business because the two don't go very well together. Lazier, <laughs> a gardener. It's really quite fun. Uh, a bunch of colleagues and I had dinner together recently and we were all talking about what we were doing in another life and all of us had dreamt of gardening as an alternative. I'm not sure what it says about us, but it was fun. <laughs> <laughs>